Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rotten Crystal Spear, a spear with optimal scaling and dexterity, so I am going to be using it on a dexterity build. I have my usual high health pool, so we do have the 59 Vigor, we have the 28 Endurance because it's the minimum for both the spears, armor, and talismans that I plan to showcase for today, and then I do have the minimum stats needed to wield the weapon, so we do have above 10 Strength, and I do have the 16 Intelligence. As for the choice of talismans, my first talisman slot is my swap around slot, so I am going to be starting off with the Ritual Shield Talisman, enhances my defense, I'm sure you know this by now, I do that quite a lot, and then I swap to whatever talisman I feel like might benefit the build, maybe the Shard of Alexander to boost Ashes of War, or the Claw Talisman to enhance jump attacks. I also have the Spear Talisman to enhance the counterattack damage of thrusting weapons since we are using spears. I have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Erdtree's Favor plus 2 for the Stamina, HP, and Equip Load boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset of the Rotten Crystal Spear, it's a standard spear, so its two-handed lights are, of course, the forward thrust attacks, the heavy attack as well, a forward thrust followed by a secondary thrust. The running light attack is actually an upward slash, not a thrust, although if you do want the running thrust attack, you do have the option of the running heavy attack. The jumping light and the jumping heavy, I tend to use jumping lights a little bit more on spears, they have better range, easier to roll catch with. The backstep running attack, pretty similar to the standard running attack, just the direction you slash from is different. As for the dual wield moveset, the dual neutral lights come up basically as fast as the standard light attacks, although you get quite a lot more damage output, and these weapons have Scarlet Rot on them as well, so if you are dual wielding it, it's a little bit more optimal for the buildup of the Scarlet Rot. The running dual wield attack comes out so quickly, so easy to chain together if your opponent does panic roll from the stun of the initial running attack. The backstep running attack is a thrust followed by a double thrust. If they happen to dodge the initial thrust, you can manually aim it towards them to try to roll catch them that way. The jumping dual wield attack are the consecutive thrusts. The crouching and the roll attack are pretty similar to the neutral lights, although you do angle your thrust a little bit upwards. You can use this to throw off your opponent's timing on their dodge. And of course, while dual wielding, you still have access to the one-handed moveset, so you have the regular one-handed thrusts and heavies. The running light attack is actually very quick one-handed as well, I find. Very good for roll catches. The Rotten Crystal Spear is a somber weapon though, so you do only have access to one Ash of War, which is Charge Forth. You can do a quick charge if you want uncharged by not holding the Ash of War button, and then if you want to go for the longer range charge, just hold the Ash of War. That's all I really have to say about the weapon though, let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first battle, we have Mathiel. Hello. Hey! Hey! Wielding an interesting armor set and the chess piece that makes me believe that they probably will use dragon incantations, but who knows. Get the... Crab buff? Okay. So they do have the Morgoth's Curse Sword. First thing I want to do is just charge forth for fun. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. I do want to try to land it though, and what I do having the um, Alexander Shard would be sweet. Okay, actually that was a fully charged version of it as well. I didn't expect to land that, but no complaints from me. Did some pretty good damage as well. As we both miss our jump attacks. Oh! Oh, enough poise to tank the spear. I didn't really notice that at first. I guess because I only really was using the Ash of War. <laughs> and uh, the heavies do stun, so gotta keep that in mind for the running heavy. Decent bleed build up right now. I think that's what he's going for, the phantom proc. I want, I want him to get a phantom hit on me, but not with the Ash of War. I don't think he wants to. I think he knows that I'm going for Trying to bait the blood loss. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get hit by that. Not when our bleed is pretty high. <laughs> yeah, I do one more of that. Oh, that one didn't even hit. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm oh, sorry. I'm trying to make you do the, the blood proc. But you're not. Oh, I didn't even notice. Is that a light roll? That is. Try to mix it up. <laughs> out of FP now I'll keep the pressure on so the damage output is gone light roll was a good call though I'll pull out the second spear just so we can do some good damage I feel like the running out one has a little bit more range as well since it's quick yeah there we go I caught the roll very fun fight though man always enjoy for, uh, fighting that curve sword Moving into our next battle, we have Azuki. Hello there, with a great mace. Oh, that was an in sync. Hey, I love it. And an offhand axe. All right. Let's see. So probably a strength build. Has some regen. Um, let's see. Probably has the poise to tank my spear. Let's see. Not the running heavy. Probably the running light though. I will test it at some point. Yeah. 
enough poise to tank the running light. So I gotta be careful with the light attacks. That or I need to go for the heavies a little bit more, but they are slower, so... I'm gonna try and keep my range here. Okay, the double hit does poise break, but it could be because I phantom hit earlier. <laughs> oh, they're both frostbite infused. That's pretty cool. That's a trade for him. Pretty good. Take out my defense ring. A charge fourth could be good. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't expect that to hit. I thought I timed the roll right, but I did not. The roll catch on the L1s is just crazy, though. Oh, the Scarlet Rod! I actually got it procced! Wow! <laughs> Very fun fight, Azuki. I did not notice when uh, the Scarlet Rod ran off. Okay. Heading into our next battle, we have Edelgy. Hello there. Hey! With some buffs. All right, Faith build. I like it, Faith buff. Hey! Hello there. Let's give him a nice wave. Hey! All right, let's see. I really got to watch out for the AoE of the Ash of War. I don't know how much poise. <laughs> can probably roll and get a punish somewhat. No, actually, not enough time. Oh, some incantations. I see, I see. The lightning ones are interesting. To, like, strafe them a certain way. Oh. Oh, no. Not my least favorite Ash of War. <laughs> we avoid that. Hey, wait, did that like cancel the <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna stay close now. Just because I need to be able to punish that cast. Not a huge fan. Can I backstab it? I don't think I can. <laughs> Alright, this is an AoE master. All right, we got some damage there. Our Scarlet Rod is definitely not going to get built up. I kind of want to try Charge Forth. <laughs> it might catch off guard. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was an interesting one. Honestly, the casts are pretty scary. If you happen to be caught in the range of the AoE, it's going to do some pretty high damage. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Stabby Stabby for real. Hello. Hey. Uh, the irony here is I, I kind of do have a Pierce type weapon. His name holds up. Hello. Although mine are kind of interesting. We got crystal rot spears. Um, those are, ooh, those are interesting. I'm gonna roll through that. Ooh, frostbite. You know, I, I do see frostbite the most on great swords. I feel like not enough poise to tank the light attack. That's noted. <laughs> the jumping light is actually doing well for me. Ooh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Did not expect Giant Hunt on the Greatsword. And you also got a Frostbite hit off. It's pretty good. Oh, eight. Oh, I got the Scarlet Rot. Okay, and this is using one spear. I don't even have the second spear currently. Ah. Yeah, I gotta watch out for our connection. There's a little bit of higher ping going on right now. But we have Scarlet Rot going. That's kind of a win for us. Oh, pop the bubble tier. Maybe do the, the dual wield here. Get the damage in there. <laughs> those things are interesting. They kind of apply quite a lot of pressure. I think I can just kind of wait for the Scarlet Rod to do its thing here. Because it's uh, draining pretty quickly. I'll give him a bow. <laughs> he went for the, the giant hunt to finish it. Uh, that would have been hilarious had he got it. We both would have just died there. Very fun fight though. Moving into our next battle. Our opponent is Oni. Oh, Oni. We fought before. I believe you used the Marae and it almost one-shot me from what I remember. So your build is very good. Alright Oni, I'm ready. Whenever you are. Alright. We're good? Alright, let's go. I have to watch out for the Ash of War, that's mostly it. <laughs> okay, I think he might do that to break poise. Ah, yeah. That seems to be the case. I do like that. Not the chip damage. Oh. Okay, got a little bit of damage in there. Ooh, the R2. Really good. Hard for me to punish that. I think he's got really good poise with the, with the set as well. So I do have to watch out for that. <laughs> Is that like an attempt to poise stun me into the Ash of War? Or possibly? Oh! Oh, I just realized that he has that buff going. So I, if I if I use my dual spears, I just bounce off him. 
an interesting tactic. I'm not really sure why we're using so many knives, though. To try and hit me into the Ash of War, I guess? I suppose? It is interesting, to say the least. I don't see that often at all. I wonder if the buff is gone. Yep. Oh, he took a trade there. I think he's doing that so my passive poise isn't there to help against the Ash of War. Because sometimes you can just like poise the initial part of it, you know, and then you get out of it. So he's doing that to make sure. Very fun fight, Oni. That it, it breaks the poise easier. Pretty useful though. That, that almost did like a lot of damage as well again. Very fun fight. Heading into our final battle, we have Kalik. Hello there. Hey! With what looks like an intelligence hey! build. Moonlight Greatsword. Uh, any sorceries or just the Moonlight Greatsword? I'm going to eat this crab even though I don't need to because you're all magic damage. But uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. We got double frostbite buildup when that buff is active. I'm definitely going to have to watch out for that. Okay, let's just see. I did not hit. Scary. Okay. We did get the backstab roll catch though. That's pretty good. Try the Ash of War. Oh, that tanked through. Definitely wasn't worth the trade overall though, I'm gonna say. Just because that damage was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me think. Get a roll catch like that. It does stun, and we get the roll catch with the running heavy. Alright, very fun fight, Kalik. Very interesting build, though. All right, now let's just see how this performs in the invasions. All right, heading into our first invasion, we are in the subterranean shunning grounds, and they look a little bit busy. I kind of want to try to land this. Hello. <laughs> that worked out pretty well. I want to try to get the Scarlet Rod. The dual wielding will do that even like through the rolls. So, wait, is this the host? Which one's the host? Oh, I actually activated the Scarlet Rod. Okay, now we'll go to one spear. Oh. Uh, I don't know which one the host is, to be honest. I don't want to... Okay, that was the Phantom. All right. I didn't pay attention to the name of the host, so... All right. Backstab? No backstab. An attempt was made, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was an interesting backstab. Felt like a good old-fashioned Dark Souls 3 stab. Oh, and then we got the finish with the Ash of War. All right. Very fun fight, boys. Uh, these enemies are pretty scary, though, so I see why they were a bit preoccupied. Moving into the second invasion, we are in the Sainted Hero's Grave. This could be interesting. Depending on where they are in the catacombs here. Summoning. Oh, hello. Oh, they're right at the beginning. Hello, guys. How are you? All right, so well the summoner, I mean the summon's gonna be like right here, so I'm not gonna walk into that easily. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say I don't want him locking me in. There we go, that's better. All right, three of you guys, you're fine. Oh, right through. That's not gonna get old really fast. We're gonna avoid that. We do have the whole cave to run through at the very least. I see you. Oh, I was going to say, do those curve around? <laughs> okay, I dodged those Whoa, pretty well. Although I got like a phantom hit on me right there. I mean, is the whole play just camp corners? Is the three-man group? Surprise! <laughs> there you go, get involved a little bit. Y'all have spears, right? Should be good at chase downs. They really don't want to go have fun in the Saint Hero Grave, though, area. That's sadness. I'm winning the chip war so far. Kamehameha! <laughs> that Ash of War is pretty cool. I see the spear guy around the corner. We are winning the chip war. I mean, it's fine. This is looking like it's going to be a long one, so throw on some regen. Just to counteract uh, the madness that we're getting done to us. Oh, the aim punch right there. Oh, wow. Okay, well. 
<laughs> I don't know why the phantoms were behind the host. You should have been the aggressive one. Backstab turn. <laughs> okay. Well, interesting invasion to say the least. Heading into our next invasion, we're in the War Dead Catacombs. Awesome invasion locations today, honestly. Um, just gotta find them now. I see embers. It is dark down there. Hey, oh, you guys are up there. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello, I'll give you a wave too. I almost jumped into the abyss. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Uh, Olga, Stormarm, and Mad Doctor something. I'm a, I'm a little afraid of uh, getting trapped in here. You guys have some big weapons. Oh! Oh my god, this guy has the best connection to me I've seen. That was the fastest backstab I've ever done. Oh, awesome fight, man. Give you a bow for that. Double Giza's wheel. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll put my spear away, though. This is an interesting battle. Area. You want to fight on the stairs? I'm ready. All right. I'm kind of afraid of your double jump attack. And a little bit more afraid of the fact that <laughs> we're on a stair set. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. I would do the Ash of War, but so much poise I see double lows and high poise the fear is in me oh that's a risky space <laughs> oh, I think I only hit one there all right uh, if I could space it and get the ash of war that'd be pretty cool um the stairs scare me more than anything they work really well for our, our dude here Oh no, I didn't land it. I really wanted to. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> right down to the finish here. Oh, I think that was one of the funnier fights. That was so close though. Very fun fight, man. I really do like that. Those are terrifying when you do wield them. They do so much damage on a trade. All right, jumping into the final invasion. We're in the ruins strewn precipice. Oh. Hello there, guys. How are we? Dual cur yeah, dual curve swords and the ruin. Colossal. Scary. I kind of want to get the colossal out of the way first, even though the curve swords are damaging with the bleed. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I was expecting eventually. Ah, nice. I can actually get the backstab on that pretty well. Let's go for the ash war here. Well, that was a bad choice for the ash war location. <laughs> Oh, those bats are great. Scarlet Rot, maybe? Oh, the aim punch, I think, just saved me. It made his hit miss me. Interesting. I just use one spear. Two is very powerful. <laughs> so I miss all my attacks. Although we did get the Scarlet Rot. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. Oh, I kind of thought he was going to go for a dodge there. I was actually attempting to go for like a setup backstab. Going to try not to fall off a ledge here. Onto the elevator. <laughs> okay. Very interesting battle location. I don't get many invasions here, but uh, very fun fight, guys. Oops, that was meant to be a bow. All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Rotten Crystal Spear. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I enjoy wearing, the talismans that I utilize throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting your weapon recommendations below. I really do love reading through them all. They help me plan ahead for the videos and remind me of weapons that I otherwise forget. So I do appreciate it. Until the next video, I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.